Hello everyone and welcome to the Rundown ZA, the channel that keeps you both informed and entertained. Today is Throwback Tuesday and here at the Rundown we like to take it all the way back and look up our favorite celebs and simply answer the question of Bayepi. On this episode, we are covering the fallen Zanzi princess of R&B, Zagani TK Minga. So, if you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button and turn on your notifications so that you always know when we post a new video. Now, let's get into it. Zagani Minga also known as her stage name TK, was born in Soweto, Johannesburg on the 24th of November 1978 to Debo Mhinga and Hosi Cedric Mhinga of the Batsonga tribe, making her tribal royalty. At the age of 12, she started to sing in a talent competition, singing the song Over the Rainbow to the audience that led to her unrelenting passion for music. Her father disagreed with her musical aspirations, but that only pushed Zagani towards her dreams, and she secretly recorded her debut album, affectionately titled TKO, and she released her first single, Mind Your Business, in the year 2000. The album received critical acclaim for her great vocals and her international sound. But with fans came naysayers that criticized her for not using vernacular lyrics in her music, which was a popular choice for artists in the leading genres of Guaito and Afropop. At the height of her successful debut, TK was offered an opportunity of a lifetime in the form of a seven album deal with a UK record label Polydor only to have it revoked after threats from a local company that produced TKO. This devastating setback took a toll on TK and she spoke on the matter during a 2003 interview with Mamba online. I wanted to quit so many times. I never thought I'd bounce back. So the second album, Zakani, which means to be happy and is my real name, was like, okay, cool. They may have taken the seven album deal away from me, but that does not mean I'm going to stop singing. Her self-titled sophomore album, Zagani, was released in 2001 and included the club hit, Eject Your Ass, and the R&B radio hit, I Find It So Strange. By the age of 23, Sakani had won her second consecutive Best R&B Album at the Summer Awards and was nominated for Best Female Vocalist of the Year. Sakani was on a roll. She got to perform with American artist Foxy Brown at the Gauteng R&B and Hip Hop Festival and was the opening act for Keith Sweat and Deborah Cox on their South African shows. This eventful year also brought the biggest blessing of all when Zagani found out she was expecting with her partner at the time. But unfortunately, they split due to unknown circumstances. Finding herself in a new situation, Zagani was left to raise her son Uradile as a single parent. She spoke fondly of the experience and said, You change when you have a child. Everything about you. It's not even something you think about. It just happens in a very good, positive way. Her third and final album, Black Butterfly, was released in 2003 and was considered her best body of work. It was seen as a celebration of life and put a spotlight on TK's versatility. It included the unforgettable track, How Do You Feel? that still captivates listeners more than a decade later. <laughs> the album was positively received and playlisted on local radio stations. And in celebration of the album, TK got a black butterfly tattooed on her arm. 
she received her third consecutive Best R&B Summer Award and also won Best Music Arrangement for the title track Black Butterfly. Things were looking up for TK and her meteoric rise in popularity started to attract negative attention when the press and tabloids started throwing rumors left and right accusing her of using drugs. Little did everyone know that those rumors would soon hit close to home. On Sunday, February 26, 2006, Zagani checked into Bryanston City Lodge in Randburg and decided to socialize with a few high-profile friends, including Guaito star Mendoza. The gathering allegedly turned into a late-night party in her hotel room. At around 10 a.m., Monday 27th of February, she spoke on the phone with her manager, Eddie Jenner, who confirms that she just sounded sleepy. By 11 a.m., a friend stopped by wanting to take her out for lunch. She declined, saying that she was going to take a bath. And that's when tragedy struck. At 1 p.m. on the same day, Zakani was found dead by hotel staff after she failed to answer their calls. She was found laying in bed with her partially dressed body covered with a sheet. Investigating officers confirmed that her body did not have any marks on it and that there was no sign of forced entry into her room. The alleged cause of death was either a drug overdose or a drug-induced suicide. It is said that TK was working on her fourth studio album at the time of her death. She left her son, family, friends, and fans extremely heartbroken. Takani TK Mhinga is, was, and will always be an icon that paved the way for South African talent. Her legacy and her music lives on decades later and is a testament to true talent and tenacity. Thank you for watching this video. Please leave a like and tell us down below what's your favorite TK song. Also, subscribe to our channel for more South African content.